So I blew it. At the time that I started filming the sunset at the bridge, I was torn. My phone was on one, maybe two percent. And I was trying to find my wife and daughter, but I needed my phone to do that. Now here's the big takeaway. I wasn't prepared. You always need to be prepared. So Sarah and Peyton were over with me in Brooklyn. We spent a few hours at Pier 1 Brooklyn Bridge Park and then grabbed something to eat at an awesome little place called Amwar. While we were eating, Pate, she's only four, had a little accident. She had spilled a whole glass of water on herself. Now this happened just as our food was coming out, but we were tired. It was getting late. We had a long way to get to our car. So Sarah decided to take P to change her clothes and get the car, which was probably like a mile away. My job was to get the food wrapped to go, to pay the check, and then to meet them at the parking garage. Co coincidentally, this all happens right at sunset. Now sunset at the Bricklin Bridge is really amazing. So I'm basically torn at this point. Today is one of my favorite days of the year. It's the 4th of July. It's the day that America celebrates its independence. So what do we need to do to be great at independence? Number one, be prepared. Let's take a peek back at my intro to this vlog. You know when my battery died and I was almost left stranded? I wasn't prepared. I broke the first rule of being successful at being independent. Don't break that rule. Number two, always have a backup plan. There will be things that happen that you can't predict. Be flexible and have a backup plan so you can overcome the challenges and obstacles that lay in your path. Number three, you've got to believe in yourself. There will undoubtedly be people who tell you that you can't do this and you can't do that. If you're going to be successful, then you better believe that you can. Otherwise, you have no shot. There's a number of challenges that we face in trying to be independent. Here's a couple of them. Expectations. Sometimes we don't do things because we fear that others' expectations are just too high. Focus on what you can control and know that you can't control other people. Lacking confidence is about not believing in yourself. How do we overcome lack of confidence? by being positive. Always try to focus on the positive in every situation and then you'll be more independent. Now we just celebrated Independence Day, the 4th of July, and some of you may be wondering, why do we celebrate with fireworks? What's the deal with this? So here's a quick history lesson. The simple answer is, John Adams wanted us to. Some of the other founders. Before the Declaration of Independence was even signed, Adams envisioned fireworks as a part of the festivities. In a letter to his wife, the day before the signing of the Declaration of Independence, that was July 3rd, 1776, 
He wrote that the occasion should be commemorated with pomp and parade, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other, from this time forward evermore. Uh, the illuminations, those were the fireworks. The following year, Independence Day fireworks were set off for the first time. That was July 4th, 1777. Philly and Boston held the biggest displays because they were the birthplaces of America's new independence from Great Britain. Specifically, the rockets were supposed to be uh, red, white, and blue, just like the colors of our flag. Man, it's getting hot. Why is it important that we be independent? Well, first, we're not here forever. So when you believe in something deeply, you should always listen to your inner voice. That's called following your passion. Because we can't let others' opinions dictate every decision that we make in life. Today, we have more opportunities than ever to be independent. Look at creators and artists like Chance the Rapper. He's got an independent label. I've got a special outro. I got you.